Hey all, just thought I'd cover some creative news that's occurred recently on Linux. So I'll start with this article, Affinity for Linux by Tech Central. They had a recent opening of Canva's new company headquarters in Johannesburg, in which Tech Central had an interview with this guy, Liam Fisher, who is head of marketing. And he has spoken about that they've had internal discussions or serious discussions about porting Affinity to Linux. So maybe all the efforts via Wine has made them take more notice. I know there's been a lot of requests over the last couple of years, but maybe they're seeing just how many people are looking to use it on Linux and considering it a viable option. So that's cool. If we can get one big firm on Linux, then it could create a bit of a domino effect with others. And in other news, although this is just ongoing, this guy here, Martin Owens, has his own YouTube channel, and he's been hired by Inkscape to develop CMYK support and more print-focused functionality. So you'll be able to have like crop marks and bleed and do a more like Adobe Illustrator style work within Inkscape. So that's also very positive. Let's face it, Scribus is like going back to Adobe PageMaker in 1998. So if you're interested in following the developments on that, I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in the description. He seems to do weekly updates on this subject. And we have the release of Rapid Raw 1.46, which has some bug fixes and library updates. There's been an improvement to the vibrancy slider because before the vibrancy worked a bit like saturation and that it would really strengthen the saturation of the skin tones. And I actually had some back and forth with him in the comments and he actually got me to check his amendment to it because I was like the vibrancy slider needs to protect the skin tones and he, he fixed it so even us little guys can have a impact so it's very worth getting involved with anything open source because they do listen so that's cool but yeah there was a, also a fix to the way it does masks HSL slider adjustments improvements and yeah as, as noted the library and also another recent bit of progress is Winboat 0.9 was released. That has integration of Podman now, which is another way that it, it, like, it uses Docker originally, which connects to a virtual machine in its own window. So the applications can be separate from Windows and make it feel more native. But I think the Podman integration might have like a high refresh rate or similar. I think that might be why they're trying to integrate Podman. Anyway, that's been integrated to a degree now. But we're still waiting on GPU acceleration. I looked on their X recently and they had got it working to a degree. But I'm not sure how soon that will be rolled out because I can imagine it's quite complicated to do it as a general package rather than specific distros or hardware so there's just a few updates for today but yeah i'm considering doing a weekly update of what's going on in the world of linux from a creative perspective so if you'd like to keep up to date with this kind of news hit the subscribe button i do have some other videos on winboat and three different ways of installing Affinity on Linux via Wine, which is working really well, considering how bad Wine used to be a few years back. You're getting sort of a little bit of tinkering, 90% performance of what you'd get on Windows. So anyhow, that's all for today, and I'll catch you soon.